Hello Hastings, it is a beautiful day here at the state capitol in St. Paul and uh, I think it's an even brighter day for this guy right here, Mr. Tony Jurgens, your representative elect for the Minnesota House representing District 54B. Tony, congratulations. Thank you Tom, it's a pleasure to be here and thanks for coming out today. Yes, I noticed um, it's not casual Friday here at the state capitol. No, it just came out of a meeting. Yesterday we had all day uh, orientation meetings, then we had another meeting this morning that just wrapped up, so sorry to keep you waiting a little bit, oh, but no. what I told you, uh, what I learned is that when a politician says, uh, I'll be brief, then it usually is at least 10 minutes, and, <laughs> and so I, it did, did take a little bit longer to get out here. No, I really appreciate your time, because I know you've been a very busy and have a very tight schedule. Um, Tony, tell us the story of getting the news that you were elected and your reaction to that. Well, we had a, a little get together at the Green Mill in Hastings, and uh, the, at, at some point, some of the, the returns from Cottage Grove came in, and then we saw nothing. And as we all know now, there was a big delay in the, in the results coming in from Dakota County. Uh, eventually, we could tell, nobody kicked us out, but we could tell that they, we were the only ones left in the Green Mill. And so to do them a favor, we decided to move to Perkins, and we went there for a while and then realized there's, gonna be, there's a problem here. We might be sitting all night. So we went home at about uh, 1 o'clock or so, and uh, I went to the couch and I had the laptop on and the TV on and my cell phone and I fell asleep and I woke up about three o'clock and hit the laptop for a refresh saw that the results were in that I had won and then I checked my phone of course that had blown up while I was sleeping and and so at three o'clock in the morning I started returning text messages and phone calls that's how I found out Wow so it sounds like the Green Mill and Perkins made some money off of this delay huh a little bit yeah a little bit at least you know coffee and pie at, uh, yes. at Perkins yes well, tell us, um, what were your keys to success? Why, how do you think you did win? Well, I think it was just hard work. Um, I know my, that Mr. Slayton was working hard, and as I told him when I talked to him the, the morning after, that I appreciated his hard work because I knew he was out working hard, and that just made me work that much harder. But I think a lot of it also came down to the messaging. Um, what we heard at the door te doorsteps, what I've been talking about, um, is health care, the cost of health care that individuals are facing right now. And this isn't uh, politics, this is real world. This is a crisis for a lot of people and we need to get to work right away to, to solve that problem. And the other thing I heard was bipartisanship. The people don't care that Minsure was created without a single Republican vote. They expect a bipartisan solution and that's what I can't wait to get working on. Great. And uh, you're, again, working here up at the state capitol. How's that going so far with the transition? Good so far. Like I said, yesterday was mostly orientation. Today was uh, some other meetings that we had taking place. And, uh, you know, that'll, that will continue until we're sworn in on uh, January 3rd. Great. All right. And finally, what message would you like to give to your constituents on in District 54B? I just want to thank every one of you that voted for me, and, and I can't wait to get out and, and represent uh, all of 54B, Hastings, Cottage Grove, Ninninger Township, uh, Denmark Township, and Afton. I'm really looking forward to it, and you'll know how to get a hold of me, Tony at TonyJurgens.com, and, and uh, just feel free to reach out. Thank you. There you go. Mr. Tony Jurgens, your representative-elect for the Minnesota House, representing District 54B. Tony, thank you again for your time, and congratulations. Thank you very much. Good to be here. There you go. We have more interviews for post-election 2016 here on Facebook, as well as on our YouTube channel and on Channel 16. Just look for them there.